Hello everyone. Welcome to Modern Algo Retail Algo platform. In this video, we are going to discuss how to build scalping strategy based on spot, future and option premium points with ease. Scalping strategy is typically deployed in the range bound or consolidation phase to win from the smaller counter move in a larger trend. However, it is difficult to predict the trend breakout timeline. Therefore, at Modern Algos, all of these can be defined in advanced with various features covering both consolidation and breakout phase in the trend. One can provide all the input conditions for the strategy and submit it. Then our system will do the live computation and upon triggering, automatically orders will be fired to broker account for the order execution. Let's take a look at the various features of scalping at Modern Alco. Create intraday or positional strategy. Place initial order with order slicing. Create time based strategy. Set scalping parameters based on spot, future and option premium. Define leg-wise target or stop loss or continuous buy or sell. Range basis entry in scalping. Custom scalping, entry or exit based on predefined spot price. Set order parameters with slicing. Define overall target or stop loss with trailing logic. Now let's explore each of them in detail. Period mode. Scalping can be done on an intraday or positional basis. And if done on an intraday basis, it will be exited automatically at 3.10 pm. Initial order with order slicing. The initial order for the selected symbol can be configured for the equity, futures, call and put segments. You can enter any quantity and then slice it based on step quantity. It will automatically divide your enter quantity and create multiple orders. Slicing range. To enter the market, you can also define the range on spot or future or premium basis. If the market moves outside of the range, it will stop and then restart when it returns to the range. Important note, all orders will be sent as market orders only. For example, if you select Nifty call option at 17,200 strike price with expiry weekly or monthly, quantity 1000, step quantity 200 and range 17,000 to 17,400 spot basis. It will divide your order into 5 orders of 200 quantity each and continue to build positions until the market is in the range of 17,000 to 17,400. If the market moves outside of the given range, then it will stop and restart once it returns within the range. Time based strategy creation Create your scalping strategy with a predefined start and end time, then choose the days you want to deploy the strategy, and it is also available for both weekly and monthly expiry. For example, if you want to deploy your scalping strategy only on Wednesday or Thursday, in weekly expiry, intraday only, you can do so in simple steps. First, enter the desired start and end time. Next, select the days as Wednesday and Thursday. Then select the expiry as weekly and select intraday button on top. All set, the system will compute based on your inputs and once conditions are met, it will automatically fire orders. Likewise, you can create for positional as well with the predefined start and end time. Scalping parameters. The most important part of the strategy is the scalping parameters and its key features are define up or down points based on spot or future points for adding the position. Define legwise target or stop loss or continuous buy or sell. Enter number of times for adding the position for both up and down condition. Define range based on spot or future points to enter into positions. For example, if you want to define scalping parameters with legwise target or stop loss, you can do so in simple steps. Step 1. Choose future or spot points basis. Step 2. Enter up or down points, let's say 50 points from current market price. Step 3. Select expiry and instrument type, call, put, future or equity. Step 4. In case of call or put, select the strike based on ATM or ATM plus or minus. Step 5. Enter quantity for each leg to be entered. Step 6. Select leg wise target and stop loss point either in points or percentage basis. Similarly, if you want to define scalping parameters with continuous buy or sell, simply change the last step, select the continuous buy or sell option instead. Now let's ex consider an example, in which the live rate for Nifty is 16,950, which will be the reference price. And the conditions set are sell when the price goes up by 50 points and buy when the price goes down by 50 points. The leg wise target is 20 points and the stop loss for each leg is 10 points. If the market rate rises by 50 points, the sell leg 1 position will be entered. If the market rate continues to rise and then falls to 16,980, the target for leg 1 is reached and the position is closed. Similarly, if it falls further to 16,900, 
the buy leg one position will be entered and the position will be closed if the market rate rises to 16,940. Next parameter is number of times. Define the number of times entry. Basis on that system will fire the order. For example, if you enter three times, it will enter into three positions and then stop automatically. And the entered positions will be managed based on the given overall target or stop loss condition. It will be applicable to both up or down conditions. Next, define range. Enter the range in which you wish to do scalping. For example, if you have entered spot price between 17,000 to 17,200, the above conditions will be computed within the given range. The market moves away from the range, the entry will automatically stop and restart once the market returns to the given range. Important points to note here. The calculation of up or down points will start from the reference price, that is price at the time of submitting the strategy. Based on the entered price, legwise target or stop loss will be applied. If no selection is made for legwise target or stop loss or continuous buy or sell, then strategy PL will be computed based on target or stop loss at the bottom. Next, let's explore the add-ons. Custom scalping. It will assist you in entering at breakout levels and can be done along with the scalping strategy or separately. It can be done based on spot or future or premium points basis. You can do so in simple steps. First, choose spot or future or premium points basis, let's say spot basis. And enter the spot price, example if we 17,000. Next, select buy or sell. Then select expiry date and instrument type, call, put, future or equity. In the case of call or put, select the strike. Then for each leg to be entered, enter the quantity. Lastly, enter the spot price for target and stop loss. For example, if you believe the nifty breakout level is 17,000 and the trend will continue until 17,200, to configure this, enter 17,000 for entry, target 17,200, stop loss 16,900 at spot price. When the market crosses 17,000, orders will be fired based on the quantity entered. If the market reaches 17,200, all positions will be closed. Next is order parameter. This allows you to specify the order type for entry and exit, as well as the trigger percentage and waiting time options. You can also do order slicing. You can enter any quantity and then slice it based on step quantity. It will automatically divide your entered quantity and create multiple orders. Lastly, overall target and stop loss. You can define your strategy's overall profit conditions with a fixed amount in this section. When the target is reached, you can apply trail profit or stop loss conditions and also use the trailing option to lock in your profit. Along with it, you can define your strategy's overall loss condition and exit all at once. For example, if you have set the fixed profit to 2000, stop loss to 2000 and you want to lock in trail profit, you define here that if profit reaches 1000, then lock profit at 500 and for every 1000 increase in profit, trail minimum profit by 500. So if the market rises, and reaches a profit of 1000 rupees, the minimum profit will be locked at 500 rupees. If the profit reaches 3000 rupees, it will start trailing the profit and set the minimum profit to 2500 rupees. It will continue to trail in this manner. And if the market falls to a loss of 2500 rupees, the trailing stop loss will be triggered and the position will be closed. In this way, you can easily build a scalping strategy based on spot, future, and option premium points. Thanks for watching. Stay tuned and subscribe to Modern Algos for more helpful content.